A Hong Kong doctor who helped to identify the SARS virus 10 years ago urges vigilance against a new SARS-like disease that has since killed nine people. 10 years ago, on March the 15th, SARS, Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome, came into the public consciousness. The 10th anniversary of the global outbreak that infected some 8,000 people in over two dozen countries and took 774 lives coincides with the arrival of a similar lethal virus that has also made headlines. Professor Yuan Kwok Young, the Chair of Infectious Diseases at Hong Kong University's Department of Microbiology, helped to identify the SARS virus back in 2003. He is currently doing research with samples of novel coronavirus, from the same family of viruses that cause SARS and the common colds. The new virus can easily infect many types of animal cells, which means the possibility of it mutating and infecting humans is also strong. As has been demonstrated for in the case of SARS, the virus actually mutates very rapidly. Within actually a few months, the, the virus changed very rapidly and can adapt uh, to very different situations in terms of animal host and in terms of transmissibility. So I think it is very important that we should be vigilant, but not worrying or panicking. That is not going to help. In Hong Kong, where SARS killed 299 people and triggered an evacuation of a residential building and suspension of schools, the city remembers the battle a decade ago while survivors continue to fight its after effects. Kathy Kong, a high school teacher who recovered from SARS, lived with her elderly mother at a heavily infected residential building, Amoy Gardens, that was temporarily evacuated in 2003. She wrote a book to share her experience. The mathematics teacher said her physical strength has now recovered by about 80%. It took her two years to fight post-traumatic stress disorder.